Okay, so I actually forgot to say something in the last video. Um, so I actually went to Home Depot and I bought these. So these are like basically PVC, um, like pieces of wood, I guess. Not 100% really sure. They're called uh, cellular, cellular PVC trim. So basically, um, we have a tropical storm coming in this weekend. So it all depends if, you know, how bad the storm is, if I can really get the solar panels up. But the issue I'm having with them is, let me see if I can show you, is from the beam to the beam, it's too far of a gap from where the solar, like from where the solar panel mounts are. So what I'm planning on doing with these is they're very lightweight um, and you know, a lot, a lot lighter than wood. So I'm going to run two sets of them, you know, of course on the outside, along the whole length of the bus. And every everywhere you see a beam, I'm gonna drill a, drill a hole and then I'm gonna put like a, you know, like sheet metal screw in. So I'm gonna basically drill these in, into the beams and then I'm gonna attach the solar panel mounts to these. Since, you know, the reason I'm doing this is because I have eight solar panels that I want to put very close together because they're not huge, but I also, you know, building some storage up in like this area and, you know, all that stuff. So this is kind of the best scenario or best situation I kind of figured out. Um, I know some people mount solar panels straight to the ceiling, you know, the whole nine yards. But for me, it's not going to work like that. Um, but yeah, so like I said... They're one by threes, so should definitely be enough room. Like I said, I mean, they're very, very light. Um, I mean, each board's probably only, I don't know, five to 10 pounds, something like that. So versus a one by three or one by four piece of uh, wood from Home Depot, you know, might weigh, say like 25 pounds. So, you know, and again, just working on a little bit of the lighter weight. Um, another thing too, is since I, I reflex sealed the roof the other day, cause there was just, the leaking issue is kind of insane. Um, since I flex sealed it, I got all the leaking under control, no longer leaks. So I have to paint over that first and then I'm gonna install this. All right, everyone. So we're doing the unboxing of the solar panels. This is what they look like. I have eight 100 watt solar panels. Um, they do come without the mounting brackets on them, which as you can see, I already put all four on this one. Um, so yeah, so those are the eight solar panels. Right in here is gonna be the charge controller. If you guys wanna see, I got the Rover 60 or 60 amps. It's kinda hard to pull it out with one hand. Actually, I'll leave it in there cause it's kinda big. But anyway, that's what she looks like. In here, I ordered three. 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries. However, only one of them has come in so far. So that's what they look like, which again, I'll pull them all out in a minute. And then some extra wiring, you know, these are just the wires to connect all the solar panels together. Got some fuses. I have the Bluetooth module. And then in here is all the mountain brackets. Um, and then I also have the inverter, which I left inside. So I do have to get that as well. All right, everyone. I just finished installing the solar panels on the roof. Just kind of show you. So this is all the flex seal when I reflex sealed all of it. I didn't paint over it yet. But if you all can kind of see what it looks like. What I did is I ran basically four pieces one by three PVC uh, trim instead of wood. I ran those as like the studs. So I drilled those into every one of the beams, which you can see by the gold, the gold screws. And then I just took the silver screws and I just mounted the solar panels in. So this in total here is 800 watts of solar, which is eight panels, 100 watt panels. Um, so all I have left now is, which not gonna do today, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's gonna be storming pretty bad soon. But uh, eventually when I get to it, I'm gonna be attaching and running the wire to all of these and I'll probably put a hole maybe in that corner area. But yeah, just kind of showing y'all what it looks like. Cool, solar panels installed. 
So basically this is all the leftover uh, solar panel stuff. Um, so basically not to get too far ahead of myself, but because of the, you know, the whole tropical storm coming in, I wanted to get those solar panels up before it starts raining real bad. You know what I mean? Because when it's raining, I can focus inside the bus. Um, the solar panels, remember I showed you that eventually I'm going to drill the hole and run the wire. So the wire will come from this area. Of course, you know, run down here and then this will be the bed frame. You know, where all the batteries and et cetera will be held. Um, and the other arrows are just more for electrical work for me once I get to it. All right, everybody. This is what the solar panels mounted looks like. And these are what the two ventilation fans look like. Or you can say intake, exhaust fans, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, we still got to paint some up in here. Um, I did some extra flex sealing. But anyway, there's what they look like installed.